Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga Amazing Mighty Foam. Um, he's amazing, to put it simply. Um, and he's he's mighty too, if if that wasn't uh, obvious enough as it is. Um, basically it's a black form of mighty with some slight remolds. And uh, was eventually cut up and pasted with Mighty Form to make Rising Mighty Form. But anyway, uh, big thanks to JP for selling this to me. Um, reasonable price for an exclusive. And uh, it was the last one I needed out of my Kuga collection for now. If you've seen that fly, I'm really getting really pissed at it. Um, but anyway, on to the, uh, the uh, packaging. Uh, uh, no, no I'm, that's, that's not me. Um, anyway, uh... <laughs> Let's uh, let go ahead with the packaging now that I'm totally thrown off course here. Um, so here we have Amazing Mighty right here. You won't really be able to tell the difference, but uh, his hand things have the Amazing Mighty logo. So, yes. Uh, Master Rider, Kuga, Amazing Mighty as normal. And then on the back here we've got a pretty cool pose. I might be able to pull that one off. I'll go ahead and try then that one, that one's pretty cool too, and then just a standing straight pose. Uh, he was a Bandai Collector Shop Tomashi Web Show 10 exclusive. Um, so that's a big sad face right there. That uh, such a cool form was exclusive. Uh, so here we have Amazing Mighty right here. And two sets of hands, angry, splayed open hands. And then it's kind of like a weapon holding hand. Because uh, I don't know why. But whatever. He can hold weapons. open oh come on you bitch there we go awesome so uh, let's go ahead and set that up in the background just so I can make a note of it I'll set it up over here so you guys can still see it yay so anyway here is amazing mighty he's a little bit loose in the waist but uh but that's okay uh, basically no major major differences between him and uh and him and mighty form Let's go ahead and bring in Mighty Form just for uh, just for comparison's sake. Right here, let me bring down the camera a bit. And adjust the lights. All right, so uh, here's Mighty Form, uh, as you can see, hopefully. So um, the red is very nice. Standard belt mold on standard Kuga face. So nothing really too wild there. But uh, in the transition from or to Amazing Mighty, um, he gained a couple of things. First of all, he gained a new Argo belt that you can see in Rising Mighty. As all of the Rising forms share the same belt. Uh, so that's, that's cool. He gains the Mighty anklets down here at the bottom that... Uh, Rising Mighty has one of, and um, the gold painted around here that Rising Mighty also has. But uh, we're new when this guy was new. Um, another really cool thing going on is the fact that uh, this is a matte finish. It's really hard to tell on camera. You can kind of see how it's reflecting the light compared to the plastic. Um, but that's really cool. In fact, my biggest complaint with Skull was that he wasn't matte finish. And I don't know, the matte finish is just really nice, it feels cool, and it gives off a really neat effect to uh, counteract the uh, glossy finish that's on the uh, the other Kuga forms besides Ultimate. Ultimate being a very, like, faux matte finish. So I, I like Ultimate in that aspect too. Um... Red eyes right here. He has no black eyes because this form doesn't have black eyes. But um, he would look really sharp with black eyes. Can we take the... No, we can't take the helmet off. Damn. Otherwise, I'd put Ultimate's face on there and see what happens. But uh, it looks really nice. I like it. So let's go ahead and give him the... Pop those in. And either way, it's both these hands, I believe. Pop 
pop those in. I'm going to try to do that picture over there that uh, Mighty Forms covering up. So basically that and down and bring that across, bring that a little bit closer in. And I'm going to modify it just a little bit. And I think he'd be a little bit spread out like that. So here we have our trio of mightiness. Um, I won't include growing in this, only for the simple fact that uh, growing form Kuga is like not really a mighty form at all. But uh, anyway, he looks really sharp. The black and oh, don't fall. The black and gold combination, now he's falling backwards, is a really cool combination. One of the reasons why I like Ultimate Form so much. And I really like Mighty's streamlined look. So this is probably my favorite form of Kuga. Uh, he just looks really, really sharp. The gold is nice and crisp and darker than the, uh, these two guys. And um, I don't know, it just looks really, really neat. So um, those are my opinions on him anyway. Um, I do highly recommend him if you're a Kuga fan. If you aren't a huge Kuga fan, I can easily recommend just uh, just getting Mighty Form and being done with it. But um, if you have fallen down the rabbit Kuga Ho, Kuga Ho, Kuga Ho, the um, the uh, Kuga rabbit hole, as Evangelist likes to put it, then yeah, it's pretty necessary and it's really cool too. So um, I've got some time left because this guy's so simple. Um, and doesn't really come with hand swaps. Uh, so, let's go ahead and just bring in all of our Kugas thus far. Uh, let's go ahead and keep these guys in the middle. Right here. And, uh... We'll bring in... Titan form over here. Titan form. And we'll bring in dragon form, maybe. Can we squeeze him in here? Yes, we can. Uh, Pegasus form can go over here behind dragon form. Growing form can go over here. Don't fall. Um, so here's like our base Kuga group. Uh, ultimate form can go... I did this really weird. Ultimate form can go over here, I guess. Rising Ultimate Dark Eyes can go back here with Ultimate. And then Rising Ultimate Red Eyes can go over here with Growing. So here we have our Kuga family that you can't see. Very, very cool. That let that fly just totally spastic. There he is. Anyway, um, here's our Kuga family. Really cool, and he's oh my god, that fly is on my rising mighty. You fucking bastard, get off my rising mighty. Thank you. So, <laughs> always an eventful review with me. Uh, so really, really, really nice. The thing about Kuga's forms is that. His eyes change color, kind of like Kiva's, except we don't have Kiva yet. So, like, the difference in his forms are just really, really stellar. And uh, they look absolutely phenomenal on his shelf. So we've got blacks and greens and reds and purples and blues and golds and whites and every color imaginable. And it just looks really, really sharp. So um, I definitely recommend the Kuga line. If you're a Kuga fan, there's no reason you shouldn't own all of these. They're just really great figures, particularly Amazing Mighty in general. You can check out a photo gallery of Amazing Mighty at flickr.com slash photo slash Shukun Shinobi. And of course, check out the blog at shukunshinobi.wordpress.com for all these news, updates, and release dates. And uh, check out our podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles at ridersrangersandrambles.com.
Tom for uh, the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. So uh, take care and have a great one. Bye.